So coming raw again from my backyard, guys. Um, actually from my garage, not even my backyard. <laughs> I was doing some videos yesterday in my in my backyard. So I'm like in my you in my backyard. Get creative, man. So guys, thank you so much for the love and support. I hope everybody's out there staying safe um, with your your family and loved ones. Um, just a little quick little uh, heads up, and I think a lot of people got this because of the news. But yesterday I was talking to my brother-in-law. And he was talking about that there might be some sort of shortage with meat. I don't know what that's about, but you for you carnivores out there, make sure you store up. Guys, this is Justo Villalobos with Build Door Strategies. We're a credit consumer advocate organization. And if you're checking out the channel for the first time, consider liking, subscribing, and commenting. Today, I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit more about what we've been talking about, life insurance. Right. I think it's an important topic for you guys out there especially you guys that are actually in the forefront you police officers you firefighters you people at the gas station the people at Publix or when dixie at sedanos yeah. you know so you guys are actually the heroes right now because you're supplying certain things that the average consumer needs right. and and you know what if we're not protecting ourselves and if you're not bringing this information which i want to go ahead and have carlos uh, well, you just spoke a little bit about the employment. Let's continue on that and then elaborate a little bit more as to what are the eligibilities and what are the consequences as a type of different policies. So right now what's happening is and we touched on the, the um, employer provided life insurance. We're going to talk about individually owned, right? Because okay. there are people that actually don't have any life insurance because okay. not everybody's job offers it. Correct. So right now there are people that are working and they have nothing. Right. Well, what happens is right now, if you do like we were saying earlier, if you do test positive, which they say 90 percent of us are going to get the COVID-19, 90 percent right? of the oh population will have it. So and I'm not trying to scare people. Like, <laughs> I don't need a mask. Then. <laughs> I'm not I need trying a to mask. scare people. What I'm trying to say is that the reality is most of us will get it. You know, we'll build up immune system to it and everything like that. But a lot of companies, because it's, life insurance companies do not like unknowns. OK, so they're protecting themselves right now, because imagine how um, 100,000 people just drop dead from and they have to pay out, right? They don't want that. True. So what's happening is they're actually putting things in place that if you test positive for that, they're actually on the applications, they're asking it. Not all of them, but some of them. And they're declining coverage up front. They're not even going, like they're not even wow. gonna go do through the applications. Um, so then you should always review what you already have. There are people out there that actually have individual policies. I would review your, this is the best time to, Call your, your life insurance agent, call your advisor, review your policy. Hey, listen, I know something, nothing's gonna happen to me. I just wanna make sure that there's no different clauses in my policy that hinder me from my family from getting these benefits if something were to happen to me relating to the coronavirus. So one of the things that you guys have to do, guys, especially for you guys watching this, review your policy, sit down, talk to your agent, talk to your provider. If you don't know, Contact us here at BuildWord Strategies. We're more than happy to put you with a, an advisor, someone who's knowledgeable like Carlos within that to review the policy to make sure that you are covered. You got loved ones. Guess what? It would hinder your family or the, for them to have to suffer because you're the breadwinner and all of a sudden that income is no longer there. Then guess what? Your life is gonna, your family's life is gonna change. Your kid's life is gonna change. They're gonna have to move. They're gonna have to change the lifestyle because guess what? That income is no longer there. So life insurance is to replace your assets, to replace yeah. that income. That's a lot, and that's that, I mean, good that you touched on it. And then we'll go into some questions I know you, t you some people were asking you. Is life insurance, there's a mis misconception, a huge misconception. A lot of people are afraid of it because they don't understand it. So they think, I'm gonna buy life insurance and I'm sentencing myself to death. Especially in the Hispanic community, let's be honest, right? The reality is life insurance, for example, is if you make 10 grand a month, right? and your spouse makes $5,000. That's $15,000 that's coming into the house right now. And God forbid, you're the breadwinner, you pass away. Now that there's only $5,000 coming into the house. So what's gonna happen to the other 10,000? The reality is your wife will like, emotionally, she's gonna suffer. Like yeah. we're not taking that away. Your kids are gonna suffer. They're gonna be sad. Like that will never be able to replace you as a person. The life insurance, what's intended is to replace the income so that your family can maintain at least the same quality of life at the bare minimum. Okay. Right? Now, the goal is that they can actually, like for example, I want my family to be better off. Of Some course. people have more coverage than that. But at least that their family won't have to sell the house, um, mortgage things, and get rid of things. Like what happens, Definitely. GoFundMe pages. We see them. We're I seeing see GoFundMe yeah. pages left and right right now. Yeah. 
You know, it's a reality. It's a sad reality. But you said there were some people that had asked you some questions. Had um, you know? Now, given the fact, and, and that was one of the things, because um, I heard, as a matter of fact, um, that people are not being eligible, or what companies right now is, because it's like everything that's going on. There's some that have more favor than other. So, so right now, am I able to get a term policy, or what type of what type of insurance should I be looking for? If I if I had a selection, I guess I've I've heard of Universal, I've heard of these type of weird, different names. What do you what do you suggest on that? So so I'm gonna I'm gonna give you facts, right? I'll give you the information. You guys make the decision for yourself. So we're gonna go basic um, life insurance. So life insurance shouldn't even be called life insurance, guys. It should be called income protection. Because income protection. Do you know you don't benefit from it if you're alive. <laughs> that is true, <laughs> right? Right. It's income that you're getting from it. Yeah. Right? So what definitely. happens is. There, the reality is there are some policies which offer some type of cash value. Yes, that is true. That is not a myth. What happens though, and I'm going to give you a generic and like if they want details, we'll go, we can yeah, go into let, it in a later let them, video. Yeah, if you guys are looking for obviously yeah. more information, we'll uh, give you know, We're going to go generic. So there's basic, like you mentioned universal life, there's whole life, there's variable life, right? Well, let's explain term, right? Which is um, what a lot of people should use and i'll explain to you why so life insurance about i'll give you the genesis of it in the beginning life insurance used to actually be called death insurance who wants to buy death insurance nobody nobody so life insurance companies wanted to make this more marketable wanted to make people more okay i buy something more appealing okay. so because most of the time if i'm telling someone hey listen this is if you pass away or if you get um a terminal illness right the reality is that if they don't see the immediate gratification because we live in an instant gratification yes. society. They really push it off because okay. it's like, that's not for me. They're going to, my wife's going to buy that and then she's going to marry someone else and he's going to have all the money. That's the thought process, right? So with term life insurance, is for a period of time. Really, life insurance was meant for a period of time until you had enough money saved. I'll give you my perspective. I have a million dollars in coverage, right? I don't have a million dollars saved yet. When I have a million dollars saved, Maybe I don't even need the million dollars anymore. If I want to keep it, I probably will because I'm just that type of person to have the extra coverage. I will keep it to age 100. I could renew it. But life insurance was meant while right now, while we're young and we're accumulating our assets because that's what we're doing. If you're under 40, 50, even 50, even 60 years old, you're building up to eventually not work. Definitely. Right? So the goal is to build up your assets, whether it is you invest in real estate whether it is through your 401k at your job, whether it is in your mutual funds in your IRA. So you're building up your assets so that later on you have more money invested than what you actually need in life insurance. Absolutely. That's really what life insurance is for. Now these companies create a universal life, whole life, um, all these um, cash value policies to make it more appealing. And the reality is the investment returns that you get in those savings account can range from 1.7 to 4% right? A little better than the banks. So if Absolutely. you're telling middle-class America who's getting 0.01% in the bank, but what if you can invest your money and get 12, 13% rate of return? That'll be fantastic. Right. So really you're investing, whenever everyone tells you a life insurance policy is an investment, that is, that is a lie. That is not true. Life insurance is to protect your income. Okay. It is not an investment. So let's go ahead and touch on Obviously, that's that's more what the term policy aspect of it. Mm -hmm. I would say, obviously, there's other cash um, uh, that you just mentioned right now. Universal cash value. Cash value. Yeah. Obviously, um, let's go into more details. I will. Uh, with regards to that, we're gonna continue this conversation, guys. Video. Check on this next video again, guys. Consider liking, subscribing, comment, and share this if you found this information to be very informational and fruitful. Thank you so much for the love and support. Stay safe. Thank you, guys.